Hello fashion sewers and welcome to FSB TV. I'm Colleen Geely and coming up I'm going to show you how to use a candle wicking foot. So here we have the candle wicking foot and here we have my regular foot. Yours should look something similar. Now the reason why we don't use a regular foot when we're doing decorative stitching, if I just turn it over, is because it is flat on the underneath. So you don't want this foot because you're just coming to a lot of problems. So the candle wicking foot has got two toes. If I turn it on the underside, there is a groove. And this groove allows for decorative stitching. Think of the French knot or satin stitch. The French knot can be raised and a satin stitch is described as a stitch that covers an area of decorative stitching. So this groove here allows for all that to happen. So you've got the flap on the outside and you've got a groove on the inner side. Here I have an example of a decorative stitch using the candle wicking foot. And by touch, you can feel the build up of thread and you can see how, let's say for example, the satin type of stitching covering all the areas of the decorative stitch. Okay, you put your feet on as you would do any other foot. Put your work underneath and put the foot down. Now, I'm, select your decorative stitch, it could be any decorative stitch you wish, and then you just start sewing. So I'm going to put that into position and start. Now keep an eye on the foot. You can see it's filled with the stitches and it's going in all different directions, hence the shape of the foot. So that allows for the building up of the red and it tunnels through the underneath of the foot. So what's happening here is that the foot is doing all the hard work. So you don't have to do anything. As you can see, my hands are not helping along the way because that's the design of the foot. It tunnels through the underneath so it allows for the build up of threads. And there we have it. Don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV and also leave any comments or questions in the comment box and I will see you next time.